Hello and welcome to the Zoe Explorer video on how to get started with Zoe Explorer. Before we start, let's talk about what Zoe Explorer is. Zoe Explorer is a Visual Studio Code extension that lets you interact with ZOS mainframes in a fast and efficient way by creating ZOSMF compatible profiles, enabling you to work with datasets and USS files, submitting jobs, and using many different features. What we'll do in this video is show you how to get started with Zoe Explorer. The video includes information on how to install Zoe Explorer, create a new profile, view datasets. To install Zoe Explorer, click the extensions icon on the left hand panel in Visual Studio Code. Type Zoe Explorer in the search bar. Click the install button. Now you have your Zoe Explorer extension installed. Before we create a ZOSMF compatible profile, let's talk about why you need to have one. First of all, it lets you connect to ZOSMF and access data on mainframes. Secondly, it enables you to use all functionalities of the extension. Let's create a new profile. Click the plus sign in the datasets panel. Now, if you're a Zoe CLI user with already created profiles, these will automatically be discovered and displayed in the drop-down menu ready for immediate use. If you don't have existing profiles, select the Create a new connection to ZOS option to create a new one. Enter the profile name. Now enter the URL in the format specified in the prompt. Enter your username and password. At this point, the extension lets you skip these steps by pressing enter, but later when you use the profile, you will be prompted to enter your username and password. At this step, choose the false option to be able to accept self-signed certificates. It might take some time before the profile appears in the datasets panel. Once the profile is created, you will see the pop-up notifying that the creation process is complete. Ok, so let's view datasets we have. For this, click the magnifying glass icon next to your profile. Now you can apply a filter to your datasets. The extension synchronizes with the mainframe to check whether the specified dataset is available. If a dataset is present on the mainframe, you will see the filtered dataset under your profile. Let's look for a dataset. Ok, here's our dataset. And here is the main panel that allows you to view and edit dataset members. Now, you can access multiple systems using different profiles. For example, one of the profiles is called Zoe and it's connected to a different system. Let's look for a dataset from the Zoe profile. Here is a dataset from the Zoe profile. This concludes our getting started with Zoe Explorer video. Thank you for watching. For more information on how to use Zoe Explorer and Zoe in general, visit the Visual Studio Code Marketplace documentation page and check out our Open Mainframe project website.